question. What's the point of the clip brushes not deleting the excess paper thin geometry? Is there any benefit to it? Do you think there's any chance pixel might fix it in the future? Fixed. Either you can use the trim brush, but there's a caveat. You can also use live booleans. Um, clipping, that is a feature. I don't know that they'll fix it, but I can show you an alternative. So for example, we have a cylinder. Grab this, and of course we can make it polymesh 3D. We can go through here, go to your geometry crease with a crease tolerance, hit dynamic, looks nice and smooth. And then we can hit apply, and then we can just turn off blur, turn off project on your dynamesh, and we'll just dynamesh this down. And no, we don't want to freeze it. So we have a dynamesh object right here, and of course you can sculpt on it. And if we want to, we can start clipping shapes out of this. You can hit X to go across X symmetry, or you can go into transform and hit Y symmetry radial count with however whatever radio count you want, you can go through here and you can start clipping stuff out. Uh, you can also mask and then hold on control shift and we'll say like clip circle. You can go through here, you can hold down alt. Now if you want to, and you can use light booleans for this, you can insert mesh brush with light booleans and do all this and array mesh, a lot of different ways you can accomplish this cleaner than this. Uh, but if you're just concepting, if you do cross that little cross over, it's going to uh, do some wacky stuff. Usually it, uh, let's hold down Alt, and then it'll kind of clip out to that. So that's another feature that you can do. You can control drag, control drag again to redynamesh. You can go in like your clay brush, and you can hold down Alt and just punch this in. Or you can say, let's go to my standard brush here. We'll clone it off. We'll change this to a drag dot. Throw an alpha in here. Change my focus shift negative 100. Just crank my Z intensity up, and then you can just go through here. Let's turn off lazy radius. You can stamp that. Oops. Focus shift to negative 100. There you go. You can go through here and you can stamp if you'd like. And then here you can go BI brush, insert industrial parts, hit M, throw a little Phillips screw in here, move it around a little bit, and then go ahead and do split mass points. And now you've got a little complex little thing. Uh, again, just super quick, super dirty. Um, now, when you go through here and you hold down control shift and you go to clip, and I'm going to turn off X symmetry or X radial symmetry, uh, you can hold down alt and you can clip through here very precisely you can clip through here but like if you do say clip all this or let's do the opposite let's say we clip all this it's like okay clip fine and then you go here to so get these little paper thin things and you control drag it makes it a really gross dynamesh um, that's a feature if you don't want it to do that hold down control shift go to trim and then that will essentially slice through the object fill a hole and then you don't have those paper thin uh, things. Now if you want to do that manually, that would just be simply a slice curve. Isolate this one, geometry modified topology, delete hidden, close holes, and then there. That's the same operation. Now there is some caveats to that. If you hold down control shift and you do clip curve and you want to do a sharp angle, it's really easy to do. Of course you have those leftovers little things. If you go through here and you do a trim curve, and you want to do a sharp angle, it's going to do this right here. So then you'd have to like, you can isolate this and mask it, and then you can clip this back to get, you know, what you want. It's not ideal. Um, however, because all it's doing is, again, it's slicing through, it's isolating this, it's deleting hidden, and it's closing holes. When it does a closed holes operation, it's not smart enough to go, oh, I want to be closed here. Uh, Chi Vang has a way where you can uh, clip through and then mirror, and you can move it over and mirror and weld. Uh, to get rid of that that there, but what you can also do is you can go through here I think, and hit control W. You can slice through once and then you can go through here with Dynamesh groups turned on. You can read Dynamesh and then now that will, you know, when you run Dynamesh with groups turned on, any poly group is Dynameshed on its own and then it fills the hole for you. So if you isolate this one now and you slice through and then you bring everything back and you say read Dynamesh by groups, now you've got these are all separate groups. So it's like, okay, I didn't want this one. Control, shift, drag, hold, tap control to switch back temporarily to the visibility so you can invert that. Geometry, modified topology, delete, hidden, turn off groups, redynamesh, and then those are gonna be stuck together and now you've got a nice clean cut. Can dynamesh work when divided one object into two separate groups? Yes, that would just be just like we were doing um, using having the groups turned on. Now, if, on this object, if I dynamesh with groups turned on, it's gonna do some really gross stuff. So, um, so we dynamesh here and it's it's gonna do some really bizarre things. Um, if we hit control W and then we hold down control shift and we slice this one because, and we dynamesh this with groups turned on, it'll go ahead and then now these will be always be separate. So no matter what you do, if you're going through here and you're like, let me smooth this and then do this and let me take my snake hook sphere and just do some weird um, snake hook stuff. It's gonna let me here. 
Oh, we gotta go up here. This thing cut cactus. Did I change some weird settings? Do we need Sculptors Pro turned on? There we go. I'm dumb. It's got Zebra 2018, what's new? Watch it. I should probably watch it because I need to get caught up back up again. So as you're doing this, as long as you stay in the same poly group, you can just keep Dynameshing. And these are still one sub tool, um, but they have separate Dynamesh pieces on. Now you do have to be careful. Um, if you have any flat surfaces in here that have a poly group, like if you do this, and it does go through, you hit Control W, and then you Dynamesh groups this thing, it's going to leave like a little nasty floating wafer on your object, so just be a cognizant of you know where your groups are if you're going to use this method. Uh, Jonah says I use Sculptors Pro Smooth for clip brush planes. Yeah, that'll work too. Yeah, you can, exactly. You can use Sculptors Pro and it'll kind of eat away at your geometry. Good point. Very good point. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, Jonah says I'm pretty interested in what you said about organic maximum Z modeler. Would you still block out the general volumes and silhouette using Dynamesh though? For sure. Um, if whatever's faster and easier for you, I would say do that. If it's just your big ideas, use whatever's fastest for you. Um, if you're fast in Z modeler and you know where you're going, use Z modeler. If you're not sure, then use Dynamesh and Clip and Alpha stamping to get your idea out, and then you can decide: Do I just bake my Dynamesh? Because that's perfectly valid. There's no reason to rebuild everything if you don't need to if it's just going to be baked in game and be something insignificant but if you do want to rebuild it you can go manual retopology increase and subdivide or zero mesh or a mix of the two uh would you say remove some freedom in your design when you go into zero mesh or too early um maybe but um you can always zero mesh again it's pretty fast so if you ever feel the need to be like you know what i don't want to be feel like i'm locked in anymore dynamesh it sculptures pro do whatever you want and then zero mesh again Let's do this. Initialize. That's fine. Uh, did it do it? Yes. Edit. Make polymesh 3D. So, for example, you go down and hold down the control shift and go through and you slice. And you slice. Uh, these creases, uh, these slices, so poly groups are a feature. So, if I go through here and I do a polish by feature open circle, if I do close circle, um, it will. It will um, maintain my forms, but also really polish those lines. So where that comes in handy is if you do something like this, you mask something. And um, let me go turn off that preferences. So if you mask something and you hit Control W, uh, if you mask something and you go down here to Geometry, uh, Edge of the Mask Border, it'll give you a nice slice. But if you don't, you hit Control W. Uh, if you want to polish this, you can go through here. You can do polish by features, and you can polish an open border. You can go through here, and you can polish two polygroup borders. Uh, if you do clo open circle, it'll really polish that. So that's a good way to get this kind of stuff. And then you can go into like your panel loops here. We talked about this yesterday with panel loops presets. Um, you can crank this up and make some hard server stuff like that.